Hi everyone, I know it's been a very long time since I recorded something, but it's been, you know, a whole journey with school and stuff. But here I am with my first BGD doll, uh, Dani from Rap on Instagram. And uh, I did a long payment plan to be able to afford this BGD, and I've never done uh, another face up than on Monster High dolls. So I was real nervous to start on this, but. Uh, the process was basically laid out as I usually do, like I start with pastels, I start with blush and shadows and stuff and all that. And it was it was so fun working with a BGD doll just because you have to think another way because you know they have inserted eyes and stuff like that. So you don't draw the eyes and uh, it was you know a big face rather than you know something smaller. Um, so here in the video I'm basically laying out lip shades and you know just the base before I start spraying on another Mr. Sealant. Mr. Sealant, Mr. Super Clear spray. And uh, yeah, I'll do a little bit of voiceover through this video but I thought it would mostly be quiet because I just wanted to show my progress with this and upload something on this channel because I've left you <laughs> so long for nothing. So here's my process of my done it all. But basically, of course, I had to do some concept art and some concept art sketches, as you can see me like referencing here, because I was so conflicted on if I should do an existing character for my Danny or a new character. Like, there's so many possibilities, and I really want like the red one as well. But you know, I could only buy one, and I like this pale tone. So here's some art. Of the concept art and I really wanted to go with the strawberry tone because I love strawberries they're just so cute and good and just aesthetic pleasing and I wanted her to have like strawberry horns that was for sure so I went over to Instagram and uh, made a poll to see you guys vote on it and uh, I like this one the most so that's the one I went with so basically here I go in and press the pigment on with a brush rather than drawing the brow on because I think, you know, drawing it on just looks a little bit too rough for my taste. Um, so I usually draw like little hair strands on after I'm done using the magic eraser just to make it a more soft look. So, you know, it actually looks like eyebrows, like hair. Um, so here's the process for that. So what I'm doing here is uh, I wanted her to have some like heavy red eyeshadow uh, but since you can see the inside of the eyes a bit I wanted to lay out a little pinkish shade so that's basically what I'm laying out here with some pink pastels with the brush of course and also adding some more depth and redness to the lips so it's not uh, that plain. I also start adding some brown reddish shades to the ears so they look a little bit more shaded and uh, a little bit more red because you know over the face you are usually more red around the cheeks and around the ears. I start to lay down the bottom lashes and oh boy! Was this difficult because uh, I watched a lot of BGD face ups and stuff before I started this, so I like was well prepared because you know you can start over, of course, but then you wipe all the sealants you've been using and stuff, and I didn't have much sealant left. Uh, but I basically just wanted this, you know, loose eye look, a little bit more cartoony with a lot of eyelashes. So I laid out the bottom lashes first of all, and then I started with the outer bigger lashes.
And of course I had to do something with the nails. I wanted her to have red nails. So I just took some, I sprayed it first and I also laid out a little bit of shadows like on the feet etc. And I'm not gonna show the whole process for this because it's just the same, it's kind of boring to watch. Uh, but I basically just laid out red acrylic paint on the nails and I painted every single set of feet and hands she had. Also laid out some shading on the knuckles etc to make them look more lifelike. And then with all her nails painted and her horns painted, it was time to do the most difficult part, which I personally think, which is adding black acrylic paint. And I usually use white acrylic paint as well for the dots in the eyes, but that wasn't needed here. I mean, I will show a little bit later how I did her eyes, but to use it to make her eyelashes more pigmented and more dark. I was planning on adding actual eyelashes as well, which I've never done to a doll before, but I also wanted her eyeliner to be really pitch black and pigmented rather than a more brownish look, which is real terrifying to do because, you know, you have to have a small brush and be really precise, but I think it went well. And after drawing on some freckles, I added like a slight bit of glitter, which I used from my like own makeup, because I wanted her to be like a little bit glittery, like right by her eyes and also by her ear and on her nose, like I do when I uh, do makeup on myself. And this part you can skip if you don't want to see it, but uh, this is how I did my first BDD eyes. So I just bought like these empty ones from Amazon and I started to just do a couple, you know, different ones like blue ones and green ones and yellow ones because I wasn't sure which eye color I wanted on her. So I bought 16 millimeters and 18 millimeters because Rap said it both could fit her so I bought both of them to see the different results. So I started with these which was the 16 ones and they also came with um, see-through lens capsules that you could put on to like complete the eye instead of using resin. So I just started putting on acrylic paint like the layer on layer on layer and then at last 
using pastels to make a more depth in the eyes. So you can see that here, if you want to skip that, that's fine. So here are all her parts and I basically just wanted to try the different eyes on her before I put the head back on the body. So I just put in different eyes I've been making to see which ones would fit her the most. And uh, I didn't have anything to hold them in place right now, I just put them there to see how it looked with the overall face up. And oh boy, she looked so cute, I was so happy in this stage. Um, of course she looked a little bit derpy from time to time when I put the eyes in the wrong direction, like what is that? <laughs> Um, but she looks so cute with blue eyes. But here's her finished makeup with lashes and everything and I'm so happy how she turned out. She's my first BGD after all and I'm just very happy with the results. Here's some pictures I took of her like right now. It's uh, four, it's the middle of the night, but I was like, I'm gonna make this video right now. <laughs> uh, it's been, you know, I finished her face up a little while ago, but here's some pictures anyways, and thanks for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I sadly don't have any clothing for her yet, because I'm really bad at sewing, and I can't afford to buy any clothing right now, but hope you like her.